Minister of Energy and Electricity Dr. Jose Enzo Ramachopa is hosting the nuclear seminar in Swane today. The seminar aims to facilitate a comprehensive understanding of the current state and future prospects of nuclear energy in South Africa. SABC News economics reporter Katle Khole Khodi is monitoring that seminar for us and he joins us live. A very good afternoon, Katle Khodi. Thank you very much for joining us. You are there. Tell us what's happening. A very good afternoon to you, Nombu, and to our viewers at home. Just coming to you live at the back of a press briefing as we speak right now. That is speaking to what came out of the morning going into the afternoon. So today you find us at this seminar. It's a, a nuclear seminar convened by Minister Hossi and Soramokopa. We see him gathering all of these role players to really look at the future of nuclear where South Africa is concerned. You know very well that there was that pooling of the Gazette by the minister whereby he opened up that avenue for public participation in terms of ensuring that the determination and everything else that has to do with public participation is really adhered to. Here, we're looking at just tapping into technology for a secure future, energy future for South Africa. And we hear South Africa really coming through to say the facilities are here in Quebec. And if really we need to really position ourselves to ensure that we tap into various of these energy mixes, and there's no way that you can see them leaving nuclear behind. I'm going to bring the DDG with us into the conversation now we pulled him out of this press briefing at DDG just to give us a sense of what came out of the morning going into the afternoon we see really the minister also saying that there's no way that we can talk about the future of energy in the country and energy security without really uh, talking about nuclear welcome to the SABC well, thank you very much uh, for the opportunity and uh, good afternoon to the viewers and uh, indeed uh, we are having a nuclear energy summit uh, that is hosted by the Minister of Electricity and uh, Energy, Dr. Uh, Ramakhopa. The main focus of the, the discussions here is about discussing the role of nuclear energy as part of the energy mix in South Africa. We have been uh, having delegates and uh, international uh, delegates making inputs and there is a, an agreement that nuclear is a central part of the South African energy mix to provide the base load electricity. It provides a clean, uh, one of the cheapest uh, electricity generation options. And so the opportunity that is being created here is for the minister to engage the stakeholders in terms of opening the transparent process of uh, engaging on a nuclear uh, energy subject and making sure that we gather the input from the key stakeholders in terms of what ideas the stakeholders would like to contribute to make sure that we have got a sustainable solution. One of the key issues is that there is an, an agreement that whilst the Gazette was withdrawn, it was withdrawn to create an opportunity for stakeholder participation and making sure that the process is, is transparent and all inputs are gathered. And we are working to make sure that those inputs are gathered. And these types of uh, stakeholder engagement are part of that uh, broader engagement with the stakeholders to make sure that as we move going forward, we've taken all the, the inputs that the stakeholders uh, are making. So that's mainly the purpose of this engagement. Uh, we are implementing an energy mix, and uh, nuclear is part of the energy mix that South Africa is going forward to implement to ensure that we've got a secure and a sustainable energy solution for the country. And one of the things that were spoken of here, DG, was around uh, the issue of reskilling, upskilling, and ensuring that you prepare people for the future. We hear that there's a facility in Quebec, and really there's a, also a national transmission company that would see some of these uh, you know, ambitions around nuclear rallied behind. Uh, where are we? Are we seeing those uh, you know, efforts coming through to ensure that at least you know, we don't, these projects, when they come through, they find people on the ground ready to capitalize and tap into it? Let's talk about the issue of job creation here. Thank you very much. Uh, one of the policy objective of the government is to ensure that we localize the program and we industrialize through uh, <clears throat> this program and also to make sure that we create jobs. The nuclear provides a number of jobs from different categories and we believe that deploying this uh, 2,500 megawatts uh, nuclear program 
will galvanize uh, larger uh, skills that we require as a country. And indeed, we already uh, not the first karma country in terms of uh, our nuclear uh, development. We've got an experience with uh, operating Quebec nuclear power plant as the only nuclear power plant in the country and is providing uh, clean baseload electricity. And uh, as a result, we have capacity already that is there. And also we've got capacity at Nexa. We, we have 75 years uh, of uh, nuclear experience as South Africa. And we're one of the top leading uh, countries in the region. And we are among the first uh, countries that are part of the International Atomic Energy Agency. We've got a permanent uh, uh, seat in the International Atomic Energy Agency and we've got our representative uh, ambassador representing South Africa. So we are implementing nuclear in terms of complying with all our international obligation as a country. And uh, that puts us in a, a pole position as South Africa uh, to make sure that we can leverage to the capacity and the experience that we've got to be able to deploy the nuclear uh, capacity in the country. Uh, that is Isamele Mbambo. Thank you very much, sir, for coming through the DDG, uh, just speaking to us about the work that is uh, that lies ahead and what has been spoken of uh, since the morning into the afternoon. And you hear them here, Nompu, saying that uh, this also fits into the efforts of the country to ensure a just energy transition and a move uh, towards a cleaner mix of energy. And this is why then they're saying that everybody else should look out for that public participation process that will open up in the coming week. Nampu? Thanks very much, my colleague there, Gatlejo Lejodi.